Wait. Yes. Yes, thank you. Finally. Hello there, I'm the Nightmare Duke and welcome to another Fallout 76 video and I'm going to be doing this intro really quickly because I'm super excited about what has just been discovered in the PTS since it's back online now. So hopefully you enjoy. If you do, then hey, consider liking and subscribing and sticking around. But let's just get straight into this. So we have the chainsaw here. This is in the live game. And well, the chainsaw has been around a long time, but it drew the short stick in life, especially in Fallout 76. Because, well, just look at those stats. And yeah, it's stuck at level 20. Perk cards don't work with it. If you want to modify it, you can't do any legendaries. But that has all changed and hopefully it's intended and stays that way. And I'm so happy about it. So let's just go over to the PTS. Over here to the mod bench. As you can see, we have a level 50 chainsaw. It is sitting at 43 damage with no other mods applied to it. Uh, dual bar. Oh, I need my makeshift warrior. But anyway, uh, and flamer, cool. So, but most importantly, I'm getting ahead of myself. We have legendary mods for the chainsaw and a vampire straight off the get. Bat, thank you. As you can see, I'm pretty excited about this because I have an unhealthy addiction when it comes to the shredder and this might just be a replacement for that. Uh, so let's just go chuck on the flamer there. So now we're sitting at 51 and 14 and definitely going to be chucking that dual bar on it as well, which superior damage uh, and target bleed. Nice, but we'll go for the dual bar. So I'll just get my makeshift warrior on and be right back. And we're back and now it is time for dual bar. So dual bar on there for some superior damage and just because it looks cool with, you know, two chainsaws on the front. Uh, but yeah, let's go chuck on the melee cards and test this thing out, shall we? So we're over at West Tech here for some testing, but we are on my bloodied power armor build here. And as you can see, the damage is sitting at 59 and 21. Now, if we go over to the perks and I take Slugger off, let's take all three Sluggers off. It goes down to 53, so it is working with those slugger per cards, which is really nice to see. I'll also check now if bloody, uh, if being bloodied and using Nerd Rage uh, also affects it. So chucking those three back on, back up to 59 and 21. We chuck Nerd Rage off, 55. So Nerd Rage is also affecting it now. So it seems to be working with the per cards how it always should have. So. Let's just go have some fun with this. Level 50, Chainsaw Vampires. This is going to be good, hopefully. So let's just go have some fun with these super mutants. What's up, buddy? I got a new weapon for you. And absolutely shredding through these super mutants, no problem. Which you love to see. So, for anyone out there that's a melee user and was looking for a new weapon, definitely give the chainsaw a try. If you're out there and you're addicted to the shredder, well, now you might have a different fun toy. That's just a melee version of the shredder. I did check it does not work with uh, Basher, um, but it does work with the normal melee cards. But this thing is just so much fun. Vampires, not gonna die. Let's just go find some bigger targets to test it out on. But yeah, I'm really happy about the flamer. And what's the durability on this now? Where's, where's my flamer? Okay, so that little run through took durability down a little bit. So not exactly the most durable, so you will have to repair it. But uh, I am not running any of, uh, I'm not running makeshift uh, warrior. Oh, is it makeshift warrior? Yes, makeshift warrior. So that should help alleviate that problem quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, let's go find some bigger targets. And of course, we've got to test it out with our behemoth buddy, because it just wouldn't be a video without good old behemoth buddy. So hopefully he'll appreciate the chainsaw in its full, you know, proper working form. What's up, buddy? Got a new weapon to test. And you're quiet today. Oh, that's fine. And chainsaw. Oh, you're legendary as well. Nice. Okay, well, you did your little... Healy heal. Now oh, don't slam. And chainsaw dealt with you. No problem. Ah, there's legendary. Nice. So legendary behemoth gone. Let's go find a death claw. And over to a death claw. 
and let's see. Now also keep in mind that this is a vampire, so it's just, you know, doing his job and keeping us alive. Can get even more damage, what was that, out of it if you go for something like an anti-armor or a bloodied version, of course. But the death claw also, no problem. Ah, we killed a couple things, I see. But nice, let's go test it out on some robots and then, well, let's get an anti-armor one for some fun. And over to Robco, and let's just deal with this sentry bot here. No, 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 no. There we go. Metal versus metal. And my chainsaw metal wins. And let's just deal with these other robots around the place. How does it work in third person, by the way? Okay, well, that's just rude, buddy. Nice. Probably favor the first person, though. But yeah, robots, absolutely no issue here. Why does everything look frozen on the PTS? Ah, it's a PTS, it doesn't matter. But anyway, I'm gonna go grab an anti-armor version and test that one out as well, so I'll be right back. Oh, I'm gonna have way too much fun with this thing. And we're back inside West Tech, and I have an anti-armor version now. There's the full roll if you're interested. Of course, that doesn't actually affect the damage numbers there, but it is that anti-armor, which is always good. So, let's just see how this goes. And yeah, absolutely smashing through the super units. Ah, this is going to be so much fun. Hopefully this is intended. Bethesda, please let this be an actual thing that was intended. Because this is just really, really good, especially for melee build users out there. Uh, even not melee build, even if you're a shredder build or anyone this is a freaking flaming chainsaw give it a try because this is just ridiculously fun and i am probably way too happy about this but if you're just as happy about it and want it then definitely let me know down in the comments below but hopefully you enjoyed if you did then hey consider liking and subscribing and sticking around for more fallout content i'll be doing a bit more pts testing and checking out if there's anything else that has changed maybe the paddle ball uh so yeah if you want to see that then definitely stick around but for now hopefully you enjoyed thanks so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one